I'm gonna look up. Go ahead and close so they feel okay. Mm -hmm. Canvas. An easy what? An easy canvas. Um, honestly, if their lash, because like some lashes can be like kind of stuck together naturally, but if they're like naturally like not stuck together and like just like easily spreadable, that's the easiest part. Because the hardest part actually, the extensions in my opinion, is like the separating them and only mm -hmm. making sure that there's only one lash in between your tweezers. Mm -hmm. That's the hardest part. Putting the lashes on can be done in my sleep <laughs> those that's easy but you just want to make sure because you cannot lash or glue two lashes on at the same time um, on the same lash yeah so you just have to be super careful that only one lash is showing how long do you have to go to school for this three months to be an esthetician in the state of PA filming with my iPhone because it's too much to use my camera right now but um, I really like these they look like natural but still like she has her lashes done so I really like them I feel like I still look crusty just because of my face because um, I look greasy right now but they were super nice the place was really beautiful um, I loved like the atmosphere the music was bomb. the music that they were playing was so nice and relaxing it took her like I went in, honestly, I was late. It was like 9, maybe she started like 9.20, 9.25 maybe. And she, she finished at like, not 12, less than 12 o'clock, maybe 11.55, less than that. Like, earlier than that, I mean. Um, so, yes, overall, I'm pretty pleased because it was really nice. But now I need to get my nails done. Um... I'll put all the information of the lash place um, down below for you guys to go check out. I do have their card and everything. Um, everybody's really nice and super sweet. Like, I made an appointment for two weeks um, to get a fill because I, I honestly like the place. It was super relaxing. Um, being pregnant, it, it wasn't even too much, like, on my back or my belly or anything like that. So, that was good. I'm really hungry, and I got a tuna fish sandwich, and... I didn't eat it because I didn't want my breath to smell like tuna fish sandwich. I'm going to eat after I eat my sandwich. And then I'm going to possibly go get my nails done and make this like an after quarantine makeover. So we're at our second location where I am going to get my nails done. I am at LA Nails. And they changed the format of everything so that people aren't, like, so close to each other. And they have these things right here. 
and hello. How are you? Good. You want a full set today? Yeah. Painted on, or do you get the solar where it's the pink and the white? No, no. Okay. Yeah, no. I just want to get pink, but I'll paint it. Pink, dark, it's still a moon out there. Okay, real quick, y'all. So I finished getting my nails done at the nail salon. I still look crusty, but we're family here so who cares honestly the nail i believe she was the owner she wasn't really the nicest person ever she was kind of rude to people she would like roll her eyes if someone had a question and like one too many questions uh she would roll her eyes at them um she was kind of rude to me even because when i scheduled my appointment i was like okay well i want my nails to be um, to be long and I told her what I wanted but she didn't say okay like what's like what color or how do you want it so like before I, before she even started to paint them I showed her a picture she was like I don't have time to do that because you did not make a point, an appointment before but I'm like I came in and you told me to make an appointment at 2 30 so I did so I don't understand why she couldn't really do my nails um, the way I wanted them um, and I was still sitting there trying to be nice. Um, I didn't tip her because if you're going to be rude to me, I'm not going to tip you. But yeah, so I was extremely upset because I had to deal with that. Um, so that's that. She wasn't only rude to me. She was rude to like other customers too. Um, like if they had like way too many questions, she would be like, you know, no, not doing that. Like, and like rolling her eyes so i just didn't think that was very professional and i've been in there a couple of times um and she's this is the first time she's done my nails and um i always see her be rude in some kind of way shape or form to somebody um so yeah i didn't really like that for the lashes as you can see like they just didn't work for me they came off in the beginning i did like them but i did notice after like i was editing the video that there was like um some spacing here which they are very accommodable like a common they if you if they mess up or anything they will fix it for free for you um within a couple of days it's in their contract i did not know that so i just was like you know maybe this I didn't like like that gap but I was gonna wait my two weeks anyway but then I'm a makeup artist and I feel like being a makeup artist is very very hard to have your lashes done because it's hard to do your eyeshadow or like a really spontaneous crazy look with your eyeshadow when your lashes are like in the way and then you gotta hold your eyelashes your eyelashes down and try to um do your your um eyeshadow so it it's beautiful and it works for people who don't like to do eyeshadow and who like to wake up and go which i like to wake up and go too but i do like to do other eyeshadow looks for you guys so it was very hard filming eyeshadow tutorials um because those lashes were in the way overall i give the eyelash parlor i will give them a 10 out of 10 they were just super friendly um you could talk to them you could the music was great it was my type of jam it was like old school r&b it was really nice and everybody was super friendly the only thing that i did not like was i mean i had to park it's like there's street parking that's the only thing and that's not their fault um, so yeah, I give them a 10 out of 10. I loved everyone there. They were really nice. It's just the nail, the nail, the LA nail, like it was, 
I didn't really like it too much because they she was like very rude and I didn't really get what I wanted and she didn't give me enough time to explain what I wanted at the same time um yeah I just didn't feel you I didn't even feel comfortable like really talking to her so um that's that I don't it's very 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 close to my apartment which is why I go there but I don't I'm not gonna go there again I'll try somewhere else out and then let you guys know but that is it for this after quarantine video I'm filming with my iPhone still I just like filming with it because it's easier um but yeah I'm gonna edit this video and have that out tonight for you guys or tomorrow because tomorrow's Tuesday I've been slacking with videos, so I'll probably put it out tonight for you guys. But thank you so much for watching, and until next time, I will talk to you videos later. Bye.